automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another market update, May 2019. As you all probably know by now, when it comes to electric vehicles, it's all about the battery. And that battery is all about the balance of a few metals, including nickel and cobalt. Nickel has been falling in price a little lately and cobalt has been relatively flat over the past few months. But nonetheless, these two metals are in play when it comes to the batteries for electric vehicles and automakers continue to be in a mad rush to secure supplies, particularly nickel. From ChannelNewsAsia.com, Tesla expects global shortage of electric vehicle battery minerals. Tesla Inc. expects global shortages of nickel, copper, and other electric vehicle battery minerals in the near future due to underinvestment in the mining sector, the company's head of minerals procurement told an industry conference. Tesla, a major minerals consumer, has rarely talked publicly about its views on the metals industry. Copper, nickel, lithium, and related minerals are key components used to make electric vehicle batteries and other parts. Sarah Marcel, Tesla's global supply manager for battery metals, told a closed-door Washington conference of miners, regulators, and lawmakers that the automaker sees a shortage of key EV minerals coming. Marcel added that Tesla will continue to focus more on nickel, part of a plan by chief executive Elon Musk to use less cobalt in battery cathodes. Cobalt is primarily mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo and some extraction techniques, especially those using child labor, have made its use deeply unpopular across the battery industry, especially with Musk. Marcel told the conference hosted by the commodity pricing tracker Benchmark Minerals Intelligence that there is huge potential to partner with mines in Australia or the United States. Australia last year signed a preliminary deal with the United States to support joint research and development of minerals deemed critical to the U.S. economy. Staying with Tesla news from MarketWatch.com, China, not Tesla, is driving the electric car revolution. Chinese consumers bought 1.1 million electric vehicles last year. U.S. sales were 358,000. The electric vehicle revolution is coming, but it won't be driven by the U.S. Instead, China will be at the forefront. Research on EVs dating back a decade is convincing that this global transformation in mobility from petroleum-fueled vehicles to electric ones will come sooner than later. The shift is already happening in China, which is the world's largest automobile market, with 23 million cars sold in 2018. As Western countries approach peak car ownership, there are still hundreds of millions of Chinese families that don't own a car at all, much less two or more. Many of them are buying electric cars. By 2015, electric car sales in China had surpassed U.S. levels. In 2018, Chinese sales topped 1.1 million cars, more than 55% of all electric vehicles sold in the world and more than three times as many as Chinese customers had bought two years earlier. U.S. electric vehicle sales that year were just 358000 A key element of an electric vehicle's price is the cost of its batteries, and China already makes more than half of the world's electric vehicle batteries. Battery prices continue to fall. Industry analysts now suggest that within five years it will be cheaper to buy an electric car than a gas or diesel powered one. Forecasts predict the Chinese producing as much as 70% of the world's electric vehicle batteries by 2021, even as the demand for electric car batteries grows. Now, China has been driving two things when it comes to electric vehicles. 
manufacturing and battery production and technology. China and Asia are so far ahead with battery production and technology that automakers almost had no choice but to partner with Chinese firms or other firms in Asia. From Reuters.com, Volvo taps Asia's LG Chem and CATL for long-term battery supplies. Swedish carmaker Volvo said it had signed long-term battery deals with Asian firms LG Chem and Contemporary Amprex Technology Co. Limited or CATL as it pushes its EV target of 50% of sales by 2025. The agreements follow a series of pacts between Asia-based battery companies and global car makers who are planning a $300 billion surge in spending on electric vehicle technology over the decade. Long-term battery supply arrangements are much valued by car makers and investors as they help to clear up supply bottlenecks at a time of soaring demand and hold out the promise of cheaper batteries over time. Volvo Cars is investing about 5% of its annual revenue, a little more than $1 billion a year, on electric and driverless cars. The company owned by China's Geely is launching EV models under the Volvo marquee and luxury performance sub-brand Polestar as it takes on global peers including Volkswagen, Tesla, and General Motors. Volvo has said it plans to get half its sales from fully electric cars by 2025 and expects its margins on electric cars to match those of vehicles with combustion engines by that time. The future of Volvo cars is electric and we are firmly committed to moving beyond the internal combustion engine, Volvo Cars President and CEO Hakan Samuelson said in a statement. European automakers typically source batteries from companies in China, South Korea, and Japan, which dominate the supply chain for EV batteries. And the United States has recently sought to limit China's EV supply chain dominance. Now, that last sentence in that article where it says the United States has recently sought to limit China's EV supply chain dominance is a telling forecast of things to come where car makers are waking up to China's dominance and potential monopoly with electric vehicle batteries and the long arm of the U.S. As a result, European governments see this and are taking matters into their own hands. From Forbes.com, Europe launches multi-billion euro initiative for electric car batteries. The lack of reliable battery technology that can alleviate range anxiety for electric vehicles has held back their development. As a result, France and Germany have formed a partnership to invest in finding a solution. Announcing the consortium in Paris, the French and German finance ministry said 5 to 6 billion euros would be invested in the project. Four billion of that is expected to come from the European private companies, mostly automakers and energy firms. European automakers have been hesitant to make big investment in electric vehicles so far. The European Commission has encouraged national governments to increase investment in the area, noting that with concern that Europe is falling behind in electric vehicle development because of its failure to make advances in battery technology. Asian countries have taken the lead. Speaking at a press conference, French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire said the investment shows Europe is not fated to depend on technological imports from the two powers that are the United States and China. <laughs> yes, indeed, the new arms race for mobile power is heating up. One company, Volkswagen, is even taking matters to a whole new level by not depending on any country, government, or company to build the batteries it will need. Volkswagen is producing their own batteries, which will give the German company more flexibility and potentially a better overall product. Also from Forbes.com, Volkswagen's new battery plant could be a game changer in electric vehicle strategy. Volkswagen has announced that it has decided to invest in its own battery cell factory Many automobile companies manufacture electric vehicles and hybrids, but most of them rely on batteries purchased from a few existing battery manufacturers. 
This means that there are limited differences in the underlying energy storage technology when it comes to choosing an electric vehicle. The best chance to decrease air pollution and curb the need for hydrocarbon fuels in the decades to come is the innovation of better battery technology. We have the ability to generate power through renewable energies, solar, wind, thermal, and hydro, or nuclear, none of which contribute significantly to air pollution, but we lack an effective means to store the electricity for future use or for portable use. The batteries currently used in electric vehicles have limited range, generally 350 miles or less, and take an exceedingly long time to charge and can lose their efficiency with use and are expensive. The typical electric vehicle business plan has called for car manufacturers to purchase batteries from a battery company. For example, Tesla obtains its batteries from Panasonic. Though Tesla and Panasonic have a long-standing relationship and even partnered on a joint factory five years ago, Tesla relies on Panasonic's expertise and manufacturing. Volkswagen originally pursued similar strategies, according to Electric, which tracks the transition from fossil fuel transportation. Volkswagen originally pursued long-term battery contracts with suppliers and even considered a joint factory operation with a Korean supplier, similar to the Tesla-Panasonic partnership. Now, Volkswagen has concerns about the supply from outside battery vendors and has decided to invest $1.1 billion to build its own battery factory in Germany. Now, we started out this update talking about the pressure on battery metals of the main metals, lithium, cobalt, manganese, nickel. Nickel is the sleeper of the EV bunch, being that most people have heard of nickel. They know it's a metal, but they don't realize the absolutely key role nickel is going to play with electric vehicle batteries. Again from Reuters.com, BHP to keep Nickel West operations in Australia amid positive battery outlook. Global miner BHP Group will keep its Nickel West operations in Australia amid increasing demand for materials used to make batteries. The company has previously made several attempts to sell its nickel operations in the state of Western Australia saying as recently as 2017 that it was looking for a buyer. Developments such as climate change and dramatic shifts in technology present both challenges and opportunities. Nickel West offers high return potential as a future growth option linked to the expected growth in battery markets and the relative scarcity of quality nickel sulfide supply. Nickel is in increasing demand in new battery technologies, and that means cars can travel further on a single charge. Using more nickel also cuts costs by reducing the amount of expensive cobalt, a mainstay of current electric vehicle battery technology. Western Australia is rich in nickel sulfides, which can be chemically processed into sulfate. Nickel is one of the keys that will allow better and cheaper batteries. Better batteries, stronger batteries, and stronger batteries mean longer distances and shorter charging times. Combined with more and more charging stations popping up and populating our roadways, unlimited, convenient, cheap travel is becoming a reality. From edition.cnn.com, forget A to B electric cars can now get you from London to Paris. In the past, when people thought about electric cars, they probably envisaged being stranded at the side of the road, an empty battery, and not a charging point in sight. The thought of even getting from home to work and back was worrying enough, and the idea of making it from one country to another was frankly absurd. Fast forward to 2019, and electric cars have come a long way. Gone are the short battery ranges and sporadic charging stations, there are now full charges which last for hundreds of kilometers and a rapidly growing network of chargers. Perceptions about what electric cars can be have changed too, thanks in part to Formula E's advent, which has shown that they can be fast and fun and not like old milk 
floats. Vastly improved technology allied to environmental concerns has also seen the sale of electric vehicles soar in recent years. According to EV Volumes, a global electric car database, plug-in vehicle sales reached over 2 million in 2018, 64% higher than in 2017. Of the total sales, 69% or almost 1.5 million were all electric, while the remaining 31% were plug-in hybrids. And for the first time in its 42-year history, British magazine What Car chose an electric vehicle as its car of the year. But if you're thinking Tesla's latest model or BMW's new electric i8, think something more understated. Kia's e Nero is the car for now, according to What Car. Marketed as a spacious, affordable family car, the e Nero boasts a range of 282 miles or 454 kilometers in a single charge and is completely emission free. This improved technology has seen an increase in battery life across the EV market, with most cars now comfortably exceeding the 150 mile range more than enough for the average road user to complete several journeys. Every component of the electric vehicle revolution is falling in line and the timing could not be better. Prices are coming down and adoption rates are going up and our favorite battery metals in the global mobile power arms race, nickel and cobalt are priced relatively low, making it an investment that should be on your radar. Keep watching those two metals and I hope You'll keep watching Market Update as well. And that's it for this month's Market Update, May 2019. Take care, everyone. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by silver bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your silver bullion account, selecting the parcels and clicking sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV, and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.